this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play A Link to the Past! Let's go through the last part, uh, er, well, the next part of the Desert Palace. Whoa, holy crap! The floor is attacking me! I'm not sticking around for that. And as we all know, in RPGs, floors are very dangerous enemies. Only beaten by the invisible plot walls. Those are even more dangerous. Fortunately, the statues... Well, they can't see through the other statues, apparently. They can't shoot through them. So, that's one way you can hide behind them. Uh, pots? Not so much. They can they can see through the pot. Well, can't see through walls either, but... Whoa! How did that not hit me? Okay, that hit me. Ow. Ow. Okay, let's try that one again. There we go. Now you might, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, what about those three torches that you could have lit up? No, nah, no, nah, they don't do anything. It's not like one of those puzzles where you light all the torches and something magical happens. No, nah, no, nah, it doesn't happen. Let's take care of this guy. Ha ha. Restock on arrows. How are we doing on magic? Not too bad. I would have liked to have a little more magic. A lot of people were saying, H.C. Bailey, why don't you use the ice rod? on the boss here. Well, let's give it a try. Why not? I've never done that before. I mean, there's so many different ways to play the game. But anyway, yeah, you just light all the torches, the wall moves out of the way for you. And let's prepare to put this guy on ice. For boss top! I'm... Where's the boss? What's that sound? Whoa! They're underground! Yeah, just hit them with the ice rod. But you want to be careful because it does drain your magic really hard. So, you want to do... Whoa! Two hits? That's it? Wow! That's pretty good considering that even with a hero's technique it takes a few hits. Wow! <laughs> wow! I have never killed those guys that fast. Normally... What you gotta do is, if you don't have the ice rod, you use your whirling blade technique, you charge up, and then you stand right next to where they're coming out of the ground and then wail on them. And it takes a while to do that, but uh... Wow! I did not know the ice rod was that good. Well, there you go. Okay, but now, now we got the power glove, we gotta put that to use. We also got... Whoa! Yeah, there's... Why are there bombs planted in the desert? I don't know. But, yeah, um, we got all these ruby, or rupees. I'm gonna make that mistake again in this LP, aren't I? Uh, there's all these rupees that we got, and we gotta find a way to spend them. Well, we're gonna do that. It, unfortunately, we gotta go to the other corner of the kingdom, practically. Oh, really? Okay, sounds like a plan. But anyway, if you're low on rupees, this is a really good way of stocking up on rupees. All you gotta do is lift all these up. You got 10 pots, 5 rupees, so that's 50 rupees. You go out, you go back in, and they'll all respawn. It's a very easy way of getting money if you need to. I'm not gonna do that, particularly because I'm at full rupees, but you can if you want. Ha ha, I took your sign. Remember that guy for later, viewers. But now we gotta go to the other side of the kingdom, practically. Holy cow. Well, fortunately, we got, uh, well, we got, well, the Pegasus shoes. So that ought to help. Are they the shoes or the boots? I always thought they were called Pegasus boots. But, uh, well, apparently they call them shoes in the game. Well, whatever. I suppose I could have saved at the sanctuary and then gone all the way up to where I want to go. But, uh, nah. I want to keep my perfect save file. Whoa! Stay away from me, man. But anyway, uh, I suppose I didn't quite explain how the Power Glove worked. It lets you pick up these stones now that you couldn't before. So, there you go. That's pretty nice. And there's a whole bunch of caves and such that we could have explored before, but... Well, or no, we couldn't before. But now we can. Whoa! Are you just hiding in there? Yeah, unfortunately, with the Power Glove, you can't lift up these dark-colored stones yet, so we need, we need another item to do that. If only there were another item that would do that. 
Uh, I dash, but I don't want to accidentally touch those guys. Ooh, a sign. Hey, get out of my way. A waterfall of wishing. Huh? Well, I'll keep that in mind. If I can get through there. But as we all know, in video games, there's always caves behind waterfalls. Absolutely. Hey, get out of my way. See, there's a waterfall there, but we can't get into the water. Yeah, you go into the water, uh, yeah, you can't, you, Link can't swim, just like most video game characters, especially back then. But we can stay on this shallow part. Ooh, piece of heart. Look at that. Die, Zoras! Yeah, unlike Ocarina of Time, Zoras and, at least back in the day, Zoras were evil. So let's see, I think we want to take the lowest path. Yes, okay, there we go. Wow, I'm surprised I made it all the way to the other side of the world practically that quickly. But anyway, you go over here. Wow. Holy crap, it's a big Zora. Uh, sure, I'd like to have the flippers. Why not? 500 rupees? Sure, why not? Hey, hey all right. So yeah, you saw all those little whirlpools that I was passing by earlier? They warp around to each other, so... Now we can use them with the flippers. All right. And it, yeah, you can't haggle with them on the price. It's going to cost you 500 rupees no matter what you do. So, now let's put them to use then. Now we can go, I think, almost anywhere in Hyrule. And here we can get a piece of heart. And this doesn't have the same ring to it as piece of power. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I prefer piece of power myself. No one complained about it in Link's Awakening. Now, all of a sudden, everyone's like, oh, oh, don't call it piece of power. It's not a piece of power. Like, what the hell? Well, nah, whatever. I like piece of power. But anyway, let's head on through the waterfall like they were telling us. I'll just tell you what you got to do. There's two specific items that you can throw in there and get something back in return. If you throw anything else in there, you'll just get back your ordinary item. Ooh. Nice looking fairy. Yeah, just be honest with her. She'll give us something even better. The magical boomerang. Now, in the Game Boy Advance version, if I recall correctly, uh, that one can actually cut down bushes. So that can be pretty nice. I'm not... Or, you can't do it in this version, I don't think. So. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Uh, yes, I did. Give her a shield, you get a red shield. Now we can block fireballs, which we couldn't before. Would have been nice to have that before fighting all the Zoras, but, well, you take what you can get. Let's see where this one takes us. Nuts. Of course, it's hard to block uh, when you uh, are swimming. Yes, all right. Um, this takes us to Lake Hylia. So, first things first, let's go on up here. I don't want to go to that center part there just yet. Thinking so. Oh yeah, in uh, the Game Boy Advance version, if you press the, I think if you press the B button, you'll you can dive while swimming, but uh, not in the. Uh, yeah, I was trying to press different buttons. Yeah, not in the Super Nintendo version. So you can dive and hide under or hide from Zora fireballs. Not in this version, I'm afraid. But now we can go under here. Okay, let's go. I was going to save getting the ice rod for now, but, uh, now that we're in the area, but, well, I'm glad I got it earlier. Alright, we get a third magic bottle, and I don't think he ever says anything again, so, oh well. But that's where you get that. Let's see, we got those. Okay, yeah, let's head for the center of the area. One more thing I want to do for today, if I can. Whoa. Ha ha. Come on! M move! Swim faster! There we go. If only there were an item that would let us swim faster through water. Nope, no item like that exists in this game. Sorry, viewers. Hmm, if only we could... Hey, wait a minute. Ha! Well, not that I need it, but it's there. Now let's see. Now this part, well, it's not really tricky, but let's blow this part up. 
It changes the ending slightly, I think, if I recall correctly. Let's grab one of these fairies. Or we could grab all of them. Why not? Now, some people have said, well, this is the pond of happiness. Let's throw in some rupees. Why not? Oh, well, there we go. Oh, well, thanks a lot. Now, some people have said that the luck that you get from this game, well, first off, it's random. Sometimes they'll say you have good luck or bad luck or great luck or horrible luck or whatever they say. And some people have said that this, uh, whatever random luck you get out of it, I've heard that that influences certain other games that are like random, like the random chest game where you have to pick an item from a chest and if it's the right one, then, uh, or, well, yeah, yeah, if you have big trouble, let's say you're not going to get as good items. I don't think that. I don't think that's true. I think they're just trying to pull my leg. But anyway, you throw in a hundred rupees, and then something special happens. Ooh, yeah, she can increase our maximum capacity of bombs and arrows. So what I want to do is I want to do this a few more times off screen, get some more bombs and arrows, and I want to save at least a hundred, or about a hundred rupees. By the way, after this point, yeah, it's 50 rupees, so it's a lot faster. But, uh, yeah, I want to save 100 rupees, so that way I'll have 110 rupees for monkeying around later in the game, if you know what I mean, viewers. And then we'll head on over to the third pendant next time on Let's Play A Link to the Past. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.